Yo, what's up people? My name is Sanachi and I'm back here in the world of Satisfactory. Alrighty, hope you're keeping really well. Alright, so I think I've done most of this build now. Come to pretty much to the end. And I'm pretty happy with the way it's turned out as well. Not too bad. Um, I wasn't quite feeling it at the beginning. I liked it, but I wasn't quite feeling it. But the next part of the build that I've done, I'm quite liking. It's not too bad. And uh, yeah, it's got its own particular kind of style and... Uh, and there's some kind of feel to it as well. Cool, anyway, let's just get straight onto the tour and see what's where been done. This part stays pretty much all the same. On the right there, we had the steel stuff. On the left side here, we were doing the stuff relating to aluminium, iron, and copper. Underneath, we had the train station and some various other sections as well. And on the last video, I came up to pretty much this point and I just started working on this tunnel. I didn't really do much to the tunnel. I, I kind of like it actually, um, just like, kind of bit empty and not too much going on and on the left side here we have one constructor saying that this one constructor consumes 600 copper ingots per minute i mean that's a hell of a lot of resources to consume per minute just for one constructor that is one uh, seriously productive um constructor anyway moving on so from here is all the new stuff that i've done so keep it in mind i was trying to make this a very industrial build and so I've kind of focused on lots of metal heavy metal and tried to give it a very heavy industrial theme so starting at the beginning coming from the tunnel on this side we've got a little section doing motors so the bottom assemblers are doing the stators and rotors and they're set up to do the motors on the top too and all of the resources coming from the constructor area are coming from this little walkway down here and which is coming if you might remember um, through this little section which is just underneath the tunnel I've got a little, um, I'm not sure what that is, just put a couple of batteries there. And the stuff that goes towards the uh, rotor, stator, motor production, branches off at this point. And then the output heads back along with the excess, rejoins under the bottom here, and then carries on its journey onto the next section. And on this next section, we've got a little hub here with some of the resources going to those two assemblers, which are producing the heat sinks. And then the rest of the items, as you can see, will go up and down there. And those are uh, those belts on, on the top there after they're sorted out in that building there, which heads on up to the, uh, well, the bulk of the assemblers, I'd guess. And these are producing reinforced iron plates. So we've got the um, encased industrial beams and uh, modular frames. And that all kind of comes down on that belt there with the, the orange background highlighting it and i didn't want to build too many assemblers so i pretty much overclocked all of those to 150 i think or some 200 percent so this is the beginning section where you kind of come out of that tunnel there i've got this road at the bottom because what i was trying to do initially i was trying to do a well you know the infinity shape is like a figure eight on its side and i was trying to do a road section at the bottom there that had the figure eight uh, the infinity symbol sorry uh, but i didn't like it at the end and i kind of changed the idea but kind of kept half of the road and that's why we got half of the road looking like a horseshoe at the moment at the bottom there but that's what um, that is anyway so this middle section i wanted to give it a very strong industrial feel so i ended up building a a huge crane uh, right in the middle as you can see so we've got this huge ass crane right in the middle and i tried to give it the impression that it's been bolted down screwed and clamped onto this rock pillar there in the middle and uh yeah okay so in the middle here we have um yeah i was kind of messing around with those columns they're basically foundations rotated on top of each other like i did with the normal pillars but instead using pillars to make circles i was using these large well foundations instead and uh, trying to play around with them see what kind of shapes and kind of come up with and i thought they give a kind of very high tech industrial kind of futuristic kind of feel anyway continuing on once the resources have finished producing up there uh, the output comes down there and then rejoins the bottom three along with the excess picks up a conveyor and then carries on on the infinity walkway to the next section which this section is doing um batteries and it's just a few batteries for the drone ports at the top i've tried to do like a little makeshift structure there with lots of uh, heavy metal structures and uh, we've got the pathway continuing on at the top here we've got a little section there and a little frame taking you up to the top and once the stuff goes there whatever's not being used and the batteries they rejoin again in the semi infinity shaped uh, platform and they end up coming here to this section and then they head on over to these belts where these manufacturers on this section are producing the heavy modular frames so it all kind of goes in a or somewhat in a cycle starting from that section there doing the motors and then which head on to this section which ultimately are just doing 
encased industrial beams and modular frames because the reinforced plates are used by the assemblers making modular frames along with the heat sinks all rejoining to this section getting some batteries here and then getting some heavy modular frames there and then we're going to the next section and this is kind of like the high end uh, end of the section where I wanted to play around with the well if you remember there's a nitrogen resource well just there and what I did is I kind of played with it and it's clipping through uh, the foundations there and I wanted to play around with this little section and do something a little bit different and so I did these structures um, which basically I did one and then copy and pasted it five times but the whole structure and everything in this build can be done without any mods basically lots of pillars that are going up from a, a circle of foundations joining a little center section uh, where we've got again a very small uh, circle like a structure there with the um, pressurizer right in the middle and then all the nitrogen picks up a couple of tubes here and again rejoins the walkway which finally ends up coming to this section and I thought as you might know from a lot of my of these builds that I've done I kind of end the project with something a little bit dramatic a little bit theatrical to uh, kind of finish off the build all of it culminating at the end there with the pressurizer and in there we've got the blenders and a little bit of packaged uh, nitrogen as well which I'm going to send on through the um, the uh, drum ports that are there and as you can see we get a nice aerial view here of the kind of the whole complex um, what it looks like we've got a massive crane in the middle totally useless because the crane couldn't probably rotate much anyway it would hit the bloody mountain anyway it's fine i try to give it the impression that the crane would pick up and drop off to the drum boards maybe like from the the factory areas i'm not sure to be honest someone suggested actually adding a huge crane on area 51 but i wasn't kind of feeling it there but i think yeah it kind of fits kind of well i think anyway it's very cluttered and there's a lot going on in a very small section uh, together with the first area where all the constructors are there's approximately 100 machines that includes the constructors assemblers and a few manufacturers that are there and then if you include the um the machines that the um the infinity spaceship kind of build uh that's about 50 refineries foundries and smelters so 150 machines and they all basically culminate at this very small section here and here we've got a sign where the sign is actually clipped um, through this foundation here but because of the reflection the reflection finishes the circle of the uh of the sign which i thought was kind of cool anyway moving on down and this leads to basically the bottom and uh, where we can see the input and output of the nitrogen coming in and all of the resources coming in and what's being produced going out and that's basically just right underneath there where that goes to the the main combination of this whole project this whole build uh, which all of that 150 machines which I was kind of disappointed really uh, ends up just feeding these these few machines that are here so basically for well it was meant to be eight blenders but I couldn't fit eight blenders without making it look really cluttered so I did four blenders overclocked to 200% producing fused modular frames and some cooling systems and then we got some packages here clipped through the floor that are packaging 300 nitrogen which I'm going to send on elsewhere um, for a later project but basically 150 machines just to feed four overclocked blenders it's uh, incredible all of that just for this little area um, but yeah anyway this is the um, area that I kind of showed in the first video where we had a Sam or uh, miner just there the same miner is turned off at the moment but i thought i'd kind of incorporate it uh, into this build and it's basically a cave which i thought was pretty cool and it's got like a bit of a foggy atmosphere to it which adds a bit of ambience i think as well i am kind of liking these um these areas where you kind of build into the the terrain and the structure and in this case building deep into the the, uh, the tunnel cave there and that basically leads just out here which is back to the front of the of the build where you got the infinity spaceship and the beginning of the build and that leading back to the blender area if you might remember on the first video i kind of talked about this little cave area here we've got these really unusual plants which i wanted to use this area but i didn't get around to kind of uh getting the build to this area i'm not sure really what to do there or how to go there well there's not really much need to build anything there but that's kind of what i got to so far so this build can be done without any mods at all however as i mentioned at the end there where i had the uh what's it called the pressurizer instead of me building five of those columns i just did one and copied them five times and also on this build there are a lot of roads and textures that don't quite um join correctly because there's a lot of different angles and uh, there's a lot of times where there's flickering textures like here for example and where i've painted the edges and a lot of these like for example uh these uh, railings they wouldn't line up correctly so i've just used uh, micromanager 
on these very odd little places here and there to get rid of flickering textures and to make the railings line, line up and little bits like that basically so 99.9% .9 of this build can be done without any mods at all just a very small amount of micro manager uh, to touch up a very few areas as I mentioned that don't quite line up well it's not a big deal I didn't have to use it I thought since I'm putting this much effort into a build and I thought it'd be nice just to finish it off and touch it up where the whatever there's flickering textures and stuff that doesn't quite line up correctly just to finish it off nicely and um, yeah alrighty so another project is complete not too bad at all alrighty so I was actually having some problems with my game it was crashing for the first time I, I've never really had problems with crashing I definitely had problems with um, bad performance and low frames per second but I never usually had problems with my game crashing um, so what I've done is I deleted this whole area all the factories that I had on this side of the map and one of them was a very big uh, customizable factory if you follow me you may remember if you don't you won't remember but if you do follow me you might remember quite a significantly sized roughly 500 machine configurable factory just there with the various satellite factories in this area but these were all very old factories that were done on update 3.6 i think on the fluid update so they were pretty old so i thought you know what i'm just going to delete all those and that has it helped to increase the performance a little bit because that was like five six factories one of them being quite big as well so altogether in this save game i've probably deleted about 11 12 factories so uh, the playtime that this uh, save game file shows at roughly close to 1800 hours now doesn't really um, do justice to the amount that i've built and also i've actually let the game run for many hours so i would say i mean i don't know i haven't really timed it but i would say at least 200 hours i've let the game run just to test things out and see how they run so all this area of this side of the map loads of resources that i can uh, play around with and uh yes yes also i found this really cool area um, i was thinking to build here but it's just too small which is a shame and there's a tiny entrance right here next to this waterfall which is in this location here if you're interested but there's a tiny little cave here and um absolutely wonderful look at this area just check this out i think um coffee stain studio showed it well i'm not sure if it's this cave but they showed a cave like this on the trailer for update 5 i think i'm not sure i might be wrong um, but wonderful look at this absolutely brilliant if it was a little bit bigger um, i would definitely build something here but it's a little bit too small really to build anything significant but what a wonderful looking cave nonetheless look at that nice nice you can tell i'm getting old i'm definitely getting old i'm appreciating nature way too much um yeah anyway all right anyway so that leads out there as well as an entrance at the top which is well leads to that waterfall there where the red forest is there yeah nice nice as i mentioned i deleted a lot of factories so it did actually lower my consumption down to under 60k now so i'm using less than 60,000 megawatts um, but still producing 96 97 ish so plenty of spare power for uh, any future projects we may do and you may think looking at some of my builds that i'm always building really nice and tidy and clean and now 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 look at this yes yes brilliant just love it I started off with like a few splitters and I was thinking okay I'll come back to this and I'll do this later I'll fix it up later then I added some more splitters and more mergers more belts were added and now looking at this I cannot be bothered to kind of tidy this up so I'm just going to leave this as it is it's absolutely awful love it brilliant yes yes definitely satisfactory at its peak here baby look at this brilliant absolutely brilliant yes yes oh dear oh dear that has to be one of the worst satisfactory sins when you clip another belt over another belt and that's just me being completely lazy because i've got this under under like foundations which you'll never see this area well unless you demolish the floor of course but um i've got no access to this area and i won't ever see it so um it's just me being really lazy and bring it around i just thought oh screw it i'm just gonna go clip right through it but i definitely wouldn't take any advice or watch any videos from anyone who does stuff like this oh wait hold on okay so i'm gonna upload my save game file again if you're interested feel free to take a look if you do you will spawn here at this very very old base as i mentioned don't waste your time with this base it's a very old base i think a long time ago nothing really interesting to see here but if you do check it out you'll spawn here and i've got signs everywhere uh, kind of leading to like the main areas that i've done recently as you can see there if you want to go to infinity works just head up here at the top and there i've got them labeled one of those hyper tubes will spit you out on a hyper tube booster make sure that you loot the uh the crate that is there to get a jetpack and the fuel and various other equipment if you're using fly mode doesn't matter of course this factory as well which i did the configurable uh consumable factory with one machine will also be included also of course will be the alien nuclear factory and for those who are interested if you want to get to the nuclear factory the entrance to the nuclear factory 
and I did a few videos ago is on the spider's front right leg and I think that's probably most of the new stuff that I've added since the last time I updated the save game file but yeah anyway I think I'm going to call it there guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and maybe I'll catch you again soon